Hi guys and welcome back to another Pilates class. So today we're going to be working our arms. Now all these exercises can be done without weights. I will be using uh, one kilogram weights. Um, in this, I actually think this is probably a little bit too heavy. Um, I'd probably recommend sort of half a kilo to do these exercises. So if you don't have any weights, you can also use maybe a couple of tins of tomatoes or something like that if you have them in the cupboard um, if you don't actually have any weights to use otherwise just do all the exercises for that weight you'll still feel it working and it will still tone your arms which is obviously what we're here to do today if you like these videos if you like our fitness videos cleaning motivational videos lifestyle videos then please do hit that subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen you just get updated every time i upload a video i'm trying to grow my channel and i'd love to have your help and support in doing so so let's get in this lesson today. I really hope that you've had a wonderful weekend and you're ready to do a little bit of exercise this week. Okay, so we're going to stand first of all with our hip, our feet hip width apart, spreading out our toes, making sure they're nice and flat on the mat, rolling our shoulders back, pulling in our belly button, really engaging those abdominal muscles and pulling in that pelvic floor muscle. Good, make sure your back is nice and straight and we're going to lift our arms out to the side. And we're just going to start, no weights or anything at the moment, we're just going to do some circles of the arms, warming up. Now I'd really love it if you'd let me know below if you prefer me to talk through the classes like I'm doing right now, or how I've been doing it previously, which is just doing voiceovers. I'd love to know your thoughts on if you feel it's uh, more sort of informative for me to be talking as I'm doing the exercises, or just adding the voice afterwards. So do let me know below, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Good, we're just gonna keep on circling. We're just gonna start making them a little bit bigger. It's really working those shoulders, warming up our arms. Oh, yes, give them good circles. Just start feeling your shoulders warming up. And then we're gonna start making them smaller again. Nice and small. Bird just flew past them, gave me a bit of a fright, sorry. And then we're just going to keep going. There we go. Perfect. Keeping our arms up, keeping the abdominals pulled in if you forgot about them, pulling in those perfect floor muscles. And then we're going to circle forwards. Exactly the same as we've just done, just forwards, keeping those shoulders away from the ears. You should be feeling it in your arms. It should be quite sore. <laughs> we're going to keep going, making them bigger. Perfect. And then bigger. Oh, stretching that out. Good, and then we're going to make them smaller. Great. Then just dropping our arms down and just shoulder shrugs. Good. We take one arm across, we sort of pull that in, stretching all along the top of the arm. Keeping those abdominals pulled in, pelvic floor muscles engaged. Dropping the arms down and stretching the other arm as well. Good, I now want you to link your hands behind you, keeping that nice, pulled in, strong frame. We're just gonna lift our arms up from the back. Really good, just really stretching, pushing it down and then up. Good. And just taking your arms back up over your head and just really stretching your shoulders and dropping the arms down good the arms should be a little bit warmer now so we should be ready to start our exercises so we're going to want to now pick up our weights if you're using them if you're not don't worry about it so we've got them in our hands so for the next exercise i'm going to be turning this way just so you can see what i'm doing so we're just going to go into a lunge position for the first exercise so we're going to come into a nice strong lunge. We're going to hold in our tummies and really engaging those abdominals, pulling in that pelvic floor muscles. We're going to slightly lean forward, nice straight back. We're going to bring our arms, palms facing inwards, and we're going to bring our arms up and back. Up and back. Good. Keep lifting and back. Remember to breathe. Good. Try to breathe in as you come back down and out as 
as you lift your arms out. So there we go, out, in. Keeping that really strong core, everything nice and strong. Try and keep your neck nice and straight as well. Don't crunch it down or lift it up. You want to try and keep yourself nice and straight, shoulders down as we do these exercises. Good. Let's do two more. One, two. Perfect, coming back up. And we're gonna change legs and do another exercise now. So we're gonna come into the lunge again. Really strong, nice, strong in the abdominals, pulling in those pelvic floor muscles, keeping your toes nice and flat. Try and make them as straight as you possibly can, but nice and balanced. Moving a little bit forwards, really engaging those abdominals. And then we're going to push forwards and back, push forwards and back, forwards and back. When you're pushing backwards, really push backwards, feel that push right back. You don't just hold it to here, you want to feel that tension. So pushing backwards and forwards. Good. Remember to breathe in and out. Good, let's keep going. You should feel this in our triceps and our shoulders. Keep it going. Good, two more. One more. Good, and coming back up, just give your shoulders a nice circle. Bit of a stretch out if you're feeling that quite strongly in the arms. Good. So now I want us to stay feet in a slight straddle. Okay, nice strong feet facing forward, toes spread out, engaging those abdominals. I want us to take our arms facing palms backwards. So it's a pulse back. Keep pulsing. Good, keep that strong core, hold that tummy muscles in. Good, pulse, pulse, pulse. Good, and breathing in through your nose and out of your mouth. Pulse, pulse. Good, really feel that in the shoulders. Good. Keep pulsing. One, two, three, four, and stop. Good. Rolling those shoulders back again. Go over the next stretch to the side and to the other side. Perfect. Good. So coming in to squat, you can stay facing forwards for this one. Um, I'm just facing this way so you can see me. So I'm going to go into a squat, nice strong back. I have a nice straight back. I'm going to have my arms out here. And I'm going to push back and forwards with my arms. We're doing triceps. So bring your arms right back behind you and in. Palms facing inwards. Really holding that. Now you should feel this in the legs as well as your abdominals. We're really strong here. We're feeling the burn throughout the body, but also mostly in the arms. Keep going. Good. Keeping those really far back. Good. Two more. One, two. Good, coming back up. So for the next exercise, you want your feet rather wide uh, into a straddle position, okay? So just where you're comfortable, but a lot sort of further than hip width apart, into a nice deep straddle. Again, we're gonna have our abdominals pulled in, bringing that, that tummy button in as well. 
bringing the pelvic floor muscles up. We're going to start with the arms up, shoulders away from the ears. Perfect. Really holding that weight. We're then going to lunge to the side, and as we do, we're going to bring our head down, so we're nice and straight, and the arms out in front. Coming back up. Good. Breathing in. Exhale, and so lunge. And up and lunge, good, remember to breathe, one more, good, coming back up, Oh, that one really does give a burn in the shoulders. So we're now going to lunge on the other side, keeping our shoulders back. As we lunge, we're going to do a bicep dip and coming back to the centre. Good. Bicep dip, coming back to the centre. Perfect. Bicep dip, coming back. Good. Bicep dip, and down. Keeping those abdominals nice and engaged. Doing a great job. Lunge, good, perfect, we can do this, we should really be feeling our arms working, good, again if you want to do more reps you can always pause the video and do more and if you find that you need a rest, take a rest, try and make it so that you are in control of the workout, perfect, good and coming back up and a feet hip width apart. We're gonna come back onto our mats now. So we're gonna sit down on our mats and we're gonna get into press up position. Okay, so there's a few options on this one. We're gonna be working on ours. We're gonna be doing two sets of different press ups. So the first step, we're gonna be putting our arms in and on the second one, we're gonna be putting them out. So we're working our triceps as well as all of our shoulders as well. We're gonna start with triceps for, for, for first. So you want to put your hands nice and firm on the, on the mat and push up into press up position, keeping that bum nice and strong. Okay, so the first step is to just go down, so your arms are nice and into your body, touch your little nose on the mat and push back up again. So that is the hard option. Now if that is too difficult for you, you can cross your little feet, put your knees in, walk your hands forward so that you're still engaging those abdominal muscles, okay? You want to take a deep breath in and exhale down. Okay, so that's the, another step that you can take, making sure you're not doing any of this arching of the back or this. We don't want to see this because this is not doing very much, okay? So if that is a little bit hard, you can, if you are someone that has strong problems with their arms or anything like that, you can start in hands and knees and you can just bend your arms as far as you can down and bring it back up again okay so this is definitely a beginner level perfect but if you are someone that has a little bit of strength in your arms then I do recommend you trying the knees making sure that you're nice and strong in the tummy going straight down and up and if you feel that you can like myself I'm going to do full press ups, okay? So let's get going. So we take a deep breath in and exhale and go down. One, good. We're going to try and do five, two, perfect. Three, four, and five. Perfect. Then coming back down, just go into child pose to relax. Breathe. Really enjoy the stretch and just a minute just to, to relax your body. Good. So coming back up and we're going to do exactly the same as we have just done, but we're going to have our arms slightly further apart. So choose the pressure position that you felt suited you. And we're going to have our arms a little bit further. So before we were like underneath our shoulders, we're now taking them a little bit wider than that. Okay, so we're going to go up into our position, press up position, really strong 
putting in those core muscles to help floor muscles are engaged. We're gonna go down, as we go down, our, our elbows are gonna go out, and you're gonna come back up. Good, let's do five, are you ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect, and coming back down, we're just gonna do a little bit of a, a wrist stretch because it can be really hard on the wrist, those press-ups. So let's just stretch those out. Let's give them good circles. You can hold one and pull it back. The same on the other side. Perfect. Just push it gently backwards. And the same on the other one. Good. Rolling those shoulders back. Okay, so we're now gonna go onto our backs, grab our weights. If you have them, obviously if you don't have them, that's fine, you can still do these exercises. And we're gonna go and do some bridges now. Okay, so we're gonna keep our feet on the floor. We're gonna come down, keep your feet quite close to your bum. Okay, we're gonna go up into a bridge. We're gonna have our weights together, but above our heads to begin with, okay? And this one is, if we, as we peel up off the mat, we're gonna lift our arms over our head, and as we come down, we're gonna put them back on the floor, okay? So you want to keep our tummies engaged, really pulling in those pelvic floor muscles. We wanna be really strong, keeping our legs nice and sort of not wobbling around anywhere, so you wanna keep them nice and firm as well. So we're gonna take a deep breath in, Exhale, pushing up, taking the arms down. Good, and back down again. And up, it's quite fast. And down, perfect, and up. And down. And up, and down. Good, keep going. Up, and down. Up, and down. Really good. Up and down. Good. Make sure you're bending those arms as you come back down and straightening them a little bit as you come up. Perfect. We can keep going. Really good. Keeping those abdominals really pulled in. Pelvic floor muscles engaged. Good. Keep going. Let's do two more. One and two. Perfect. Well done. Taking our arms down, just relaxing, putting our legs into our chest, and just gently rock side to side. Just feeling that stretch. Great. So we're going to go back up into a bridge now, and what we're going to do is we're going to hold that bridge. So we're keeping our feet nice and straight. Abdominals pulled in, floor muscles drawn up, shoulders away from the ears. We're still going to have our weights in our hands. So we're going to have our arms out this time, okay? Make sure you have enough space. I'm hitting my, my lamp. Okay, so we're going to go up into a bridge. Now we're going to hold it here, okay? Keeping that tummy really, really strong. And we're going to bring our arms up in the air and back down again. Good. And up and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Good, keep going, keep trying to hold the bridge. If it's too much for you, you can come down from the bridge and just work the arms up and down just holding those abdominals in where you are okay but if you can hold the bridge please do good let's do five more one two three four and five and come down good well done just coming into a seated position. 
<gasps> Good, we're just going to take that arm across. Perfect. I'm going to take the other arm. I'm going to just roll our shoulders, stretching that neck. Good, just stretch his arms out. Clasping our hands behind us and pulling them up. Good. And then just take them over our head. Perfect. And that's going to be it for today's arm exercises. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as I said before, please do give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe. Let me know below which one you prefer. Would you like voiceovers or would you do like me talking as I go along? Um, let me know below and I'm happy to obviously do my lessons how you would like them. So let me know below as well any other exercises you'd like to see from me and I will see you in my next video. See you later.